New at six, the Federal Trade Commission is blasting video streaming companies and social media sites in a new report. It claims the companies have inadequate safeguards for kids and engage in vast surveillance of its users. Taylor Hernandez joining us now in the studio. And Taylor, a local cybersecurity expert that you spoke with, said people often give up a lot of their data rights without realizing it. Yeah, we've all seen those terms and conditions boxes when you're signing up for a new account or app, you always swipe to the bottom because it's so much legal jargon. But what we don't realize is somewhere buried in that fine print, you're likely giving the platform access to your data and permission to use it. And this is something the FTC is especially concerned about when it comes to our young people, the overwhelming majority of teenagers and kids have smartphones, but the numbers are even higher for just how many kids and teens are on social media. Nearly 100% of American teenagers are on some kind of social media and 40% of kids between 8 and 12 use social media. But of course, it's not just kids. The FTC's report states the amount of data collected by large tech companies is, quote, simply staggering, going as far as reporting these companies know what we're reading, what websites we visit, our purchasing habits, where we live, even things like our health data and religion. They've had a little bit too much liberty. Um, there hasn't been much crackdown from the FTC, and they're starting to see the ramifications. So the FTC is calling for federal privacy legislation, stricter data handling practices, and enhanced protections for minors. Borlaug gave some practical advice you can do to protect your data now. You can find those in the story on our website. In studio, Taylor Hernandez, WPPF 25 News.